Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React Native. So today we are going to learn about the UR stepper in React Native. So basically we call it as the increment or decrement counter in React Native. Or uh, we can say the quantity increment decrement whenever we have an e-commerce website. So we need that kind of functionality. So how we are going to do that in this one? So let's see how we are going to do that. Before that, those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So you can see that we have a different different positions, right? If I go with the blue styles, <clears throat> then we have a blue style over here. If you go to text align center, if you want the text align center, you can increment or decrement that part, right? You can see that. Text position right, you can also do the text position right. Text position left, you can add this increment, decrement. Decimals, you can also add the decimals. If I click on the decimals part, okay, so 9.1, 8.2. Wrapped inline styles, you can see that. Default, it is default part, right? So this is how we are <coughs> going to achieve, how we are going to achieve, let's see. So before that, we have to use this package, npm install, that is the React Native simple stepper. Okay, <clears throat> so you need to install this package. After installing this package, moving to the next. Okay, so here we have all the functionality. Uh, let's read the documentation also at the same moment. So here you can see that simple stepper you need to add. And here we have a simple stepper, simple stepper and we have a value change value, this dot value change, and it will uh, show you the value, right? And you can change the state accordingly see let's but this it's not working in my side because of the design and all so i have just created this one you can see that okay so here we have the all the things so this is a constant color and the constant steppers default styles <coughs> all of the things wrap enable decimal values okay image steps so you can see that if i go and check them here we have image steps also increment decrement okay we have image also so we have the steppers in the image actions also there min max or increment decrement <coughs> blue styles and text position all the styles are here okay you can see that moving to the app.js file okay so let's see how it we are going to implement this one so here we have react style sheet parsable safe area flat list simple stepper form that we have to use and then we have a on value stepper by default empty value zero on value changed we are going to implement the values okay simple stepper on values changed we have calling this function and text style this and after that we have a state function like uh, stepper set u state we are defining set step stepper and the value set value okay so here when we have tried to render the item okay so here we can press the item on the set the stepper we are sending the item and after this one it will just do the increment and decrement part you can see that here we have the flat list stepper steppers data we have passed render item key structor list head component and this separator list one okay we need to do this one because uh, the design and setting in the uh, mid of that this part uh, if i go and this one because generally we want this uh, this one Okay, so I'm going to set it the default and wrapped enable default stepper and the text position to be align center. So basically we want already we, we always we want this part right increment decrement by default. So this is the best whenever we have an e-commerce application. You can use this one to uh, to change the quantity increment and decrement. So you can use this text position center align center default and by help by the help of this one stepper holder flat list okay so here we go with this one so i have uh, i think we have done this part okay so any query any doubt in that just let me know in the comment section and if you want the code of that one also you can also write me on the comment section i will share that code okay so any doubt any query let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day